All right, so now we're ready to taxi. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ease the throttle forward. And remember on the ground, this doesn't control our direction. We'll use this for wind crest. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ease up. I'm gonna check my brakes. All right, now I'm gonna let you put your feet on your brakes and check them. Okay, all right, so let's see if you can steer this sucker. We're just gonna, can you see okay? I can see fine. All right, so what we're gonna try to do is have that yellow line look like it's going into your right knee. You might need the, another cushion, huh? I think once this is down, I think that'll be better. Okay. All right, so just let, just make sure you're not riding the brakes. It, it, there you go. See how she took off when you left? Yeah. So just kind of use them to steer. All right, so we're going to look left and right, like just like a stop sign. We don't see anything. All right, we're just going to follow this guy right here. So we're going to push on that right brake. We're going to keep it out to the left a little bit. See, these planes here, we don't want to clip their wings. Yeah. Those have been super nice ones, right? Yeah, they're a little out of my league. So back here... You see that line on the ground right there? It's a yeah. single yellow line with the dotted lines. You need clearance to go past that, correct? Exactly right. But back here, this is called the non-movement area. So we don't have to talk to anybody back here. To cross that line, we have to talk to either ground or tower. And now we have to do what's called the run-up. Uh, at most airports, you would do this right at the runway. At this airport, they want you to do it back here. It helps them. Uh, All right, so before takeoff, park a brake. I'm just going to hold the brake. Seat belts, rear door, front can be all good. Circuit breakers are in. Flight controls we already checked. Fuel selector, fullest tank to both the same. Alternate air is closed. Uh, fuel pressure check is good. Mixture set to rich. I won't cover that now, but we never set this plane to rich. We're actually going to pull it back a little bit. Laps are set to take off. Trim is set to take off. All right, so now we have to check our magnetos and our RPM. Are you familiar with magnetos? I've heard of the term. Okay. Each cylinder in this airplane has two spark plugs, here, back. Ramp, instead of just one. Request three full and stops. Instead of being run by a, an alternator um, for boot producing the power, three, eight, nine, nine, they're run back. by what's called a magneto. Right it produces the power. So we have a right magneto and a left magneto. Literally, they are and mounted on the on right and left side of the repeat. engine. Each one of those yeah, runs a different zero, spark plug, ramp with November. a different spark plug in the engine. So if one of the magneto quits, you still have spark to that cylinder. Okay. Right. So there's four spark plugs for the right magneto, and there's four spark plugs for the left magneto. What we have to do is check what's called the drop. We're going to put the engine up, and we're going to turn it so it's, see, right now it's running on both. We're going to turn it individually to run on each and see how much the RPMs drop. And it has to be within this range, 175 max, or 50 between them. Okay. All right. So take your throttle and push her up till we get to 2,000 RPMs. There you go. Okay, that's close, 210. Okay, now take the key and go one click to the left. All right, we're gonna watch right here. So that is about 150. Go one click back to the right to both. Okay, we'll give it a second. All right, now go two clicks to the left. All right, let's see what it says. And that's 150, 160. So that, that's within our range. So now take her two clicks back to both. We just have to be careful going to both because we don't want to hit start. That'll mess up the starter. All right, now we have to cycle the prop. Engine oil actually runs the governor and the prop that controls the pitch of the blades. Um, so we have to get some fresh oil up there. So I'll show you, we have to do it three times. I'll show you the first one and you do the second. We're just gonna take the RPM lever. We're gonna pull it back until we get a little drop and then push it forward. All right, you do that two more times. That does two things. It tells us the governor's working and gets some warm engine oil up there. All right, so the last thing we're going to do before we pull the throttle down is just make sure all our gauges are in the green. Nothing's out of whack. Everything looks good. That's fine. So pull your throttle back to 1,000 RPMs. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, Conco Ground Runway 2, taxi to the Alpha. 2 the Alpha, 526 Delta Sierra. All right, let's push our throttle forward. Put your feet on the pedals, and we're going to follow that plane right there. Put the, I'll put this down so you can see better. How's that? Does that help? It actually helps a lot. More. Okay. Okay. I think that's you're. A, one, one, I think zero, you're a two, two cushion clear. pilot. Way <laughs> too clear for takeoff. I don't know if that's a compliment or. <laughs> well, you want to be able to see where you're going. All right. So on takeoff, um, you can be on the controls with me, but let me take the controls. When we're ready to rotate, I'm going to tell you just to start pulling back on the stick. It's not a big pull. Our rotation speed is is called VR. There's a 
V-speed's playing where you can do different things. VR is when we pull up. That's 59 knots. So we're going to see 59 knots there, and we're going to pull the stick straight back and get her up in the air. So we got a second. This is Benjamin. It's my first flight Talk with Benjamin. Zero Sierra, come back runway two, clear to land. It's his second flight lesson, his first in the diamond. Sky lane zero seven tango, runway two, clear for takeoff, northeast departure for. And he's 14, so he's getting started early. Clear for takeoff, runway two on course, 526 Delta Sierra. Okay, feet on the pedals, just on the bottom part. Well, we've got to break a little bit. Left hand on the stick, okay? Just a nice light grip. We'll get on the center line. All right, now we're going to drop our feet to the floor, get off the brakes on the floor. We're going to go full throttle. You can still keep your feet on the pedals, just at the bottom floor. All right. Uh, you can see what I'm doing. I'm using the right rudder because she wants to go left. Hold her arm on her straight. Watching the speed. And pull back. There you go. There you go. Keep your wings level. All right, and let the nose down a little bit. We don't. We got to watch our airspeed. There you go. Right in there. And we're going to keep her over the runway, which you probably can't see. <laughs> we, have, we need another cushion. All right, you are flying a plane, my friend. All right, once we get to 1,200 feet, we're going to pull our flaps out. We're going to pull our flaps up one notch. 1,200. 1,200. So there it is. So pull your flaps up one notch. All right, we're going to start turning to the right. We want to go northeast. So we're going to keep our climb not real steep. Just there you go. What we have to do now is turn our fuel pump off. Don't climb too steeply. See how your speed's starting to bleed? Keep her about right in there, 85. Our fuel pump can come off. So we're going to take the blue knob and pull our RPMs back to 2400. Adjust the blue knob. All right, so this little blue box is called a bug. You see it moving right there? And it's just a reference. So I'm going to set that. I just want you to keep flying on that heading. We'll also set one for altitude at 3000. All right, then the last thing we have to do is we'll go to our engine page we're putting too much fuel into the cylinders. We gotta get these temperatures to So I want you to start pulling back the mixture knob, just nice and slowly, and watch how these gauges start to rise. We wanna get them so they're just below 1500. Up, oh, that's good, glance over, make sure you keep wings level, you're going where you need to go. See how they're starting to come up? These are telling us the temperature of the gas coming out of the engine. And it's kind of a reference for us to use to figure out how to lead it. All right, stop right there. And see how she climbed up a little high, so put a little back in, push it, a little more fuel in. All right, let it see what settles out. Okay, we can live with that. Five, That's good. With Charlie, contact Sean, departure, great day. Or departure, two whiskey, Charlie. All right, so we'll keep our climb going. 3,000 is going to be our altitude. And once we get close to 3,000, you'll just kind of push the nose over a little bit to hold her level. And then you might actually be able to see out the front. Yeah. We're flying right over my school right now. Oh, really? Yeah. In my neighborhood. So. Cool. All right, see where your heading bug is? So you can turn to the right. There you go. All right, there's 3,000. So let's push the stick forward. Right? Keep going. We don't want to stop our climb. And pull your power back to 23 inch. Up your climb. See how you're still going up? Stop that climb. We have to be very careful with climb because we're underneath Charlotte's airspace. We don't want to get in trouble with them. Just push her forward, get her back down. Yep, just keep pulling that down. Keep going down, keep her going down. Don't pull back. This little gauge here tells you whether you're going up or going down. You see, so we're going up at 200 feet a minute. So pushing your stick forward. There you go. And let her go down at 200 feet a minute or so until we get back down to 3,000. All right, so advisory slash. So push the button below advisory. Okay, it tells us to switch tank, so push it again. All right, so we're going to turn the fuel pump on and switch to the left tank with your, with your, right. All right, we're going to let it run a second. If everything's good and it runs a second, then we'll turn the fuel pump off. All right, that's good. You're maintaining your altitude. You're maintaining your course. All right, your fuel pump can come off. And you can use your trim wheel as you want. If you were to take your hand off the stick, where does the plane want to go? Slightly, well... Yeah, it's not bad, it's kind of stair, so it's good. If it wanted to climb, we would just roll the trim forward and vice versa. So that helps us to, to maintain level without us having to push on the stick really hard. That little brick up there, that's under the triangle, that helps you coordinate your turn by using the rudder. So you should have your feet on the pedals, not on the brakes. Yeah, heels on the floor, there you go. So 
push on the left pedal and watch what the brick does. Now it comes out a little bit to the right. Yeah. So whichever side that brick is on, that's the pedal you that's push. In level flight, normally you don't have to push either because it'll track straight. But in a turn, you're going to have to push one to keep keep the plane well coordinated. And that brick helps you tell that. The other thing you'll see is there's, there's a, a turn called a standard rate turn. What that means is we would do a complete circle in two minutes. And the way we figure that out is there's actually a gauge on here. It's not shown right now, but if you bank the wings, let me take the controls for one second. All right, if I bank the wings, there's going to be a little, see that little magenta line? And see how it's now on that tick mark? That is a, a standard rate. All right, you have the controls. Uh, if we turn and stay on that tick mark the whole way, it will take us two minutes to do a 360 degree turn. Once we get up here a little bit, we'll try some of that. Let's see, they're all below. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what, let's climb up to 3,500. So, I, or, well, don't climb yet. There's a process. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come to our altitude bug, turn that little knob until you get to 3,500. Okay? Now, as you start pulling back on the stick, push forward on the throttle. We're gonna go full throttle. I want you to climb at about 500 feet a minute there. See how that guy says, that tells us we're going up at 500 feet a minute. And we'll climb up to 3,500. And you see how your brick is a little bit out to the right? Just put a little right rudder. So at high power and low airspeed, the plane wants to pull to the left. That's why you need a little right rudder to hold her where we want her. What do you think so far? What? I said, what do you think so far? Pretty cool? Uh, yeah, nice plane. Very nice. I know it can seem overwhelming and I'm throwing a lot at you right up front, but as you do it more and more, you get used to it. But whenever you're ready, let's try a standard rate turn. We'll do a full 360 degrees. I don't care which direction. We're going to try to maintain our altitude. So you may have to put a little back pressure on. We'll just see. And remember, when the little magenta line comes out, we're going to put it on that taller tick mark. Right now, that's over. It's going out that way, so we'll use that tick mark. You're up. That one right there, right there, that's perfect. So you keep her on that, uh, maintain your altitude, and let's do a 360 degree turn. We have our heading bug already set, so we know where to stop. And it should take us two minutes. Very good. Holding your altitude right there. Might be a natural. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> Almost like flying the remote control plane, huh? Almost. <laughs> It's very similar to Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right, now you want to take it up a notch and try a steep turn? Sure, why not? Okay. This is your, your bank angle up here. Uh, so these little ticks, the first ones are in 10, so that's 10, 20, 30. That big guy is 30. This, this little guy here is 45 degrees, that's how much angle you And the last guy is 60. Maximum bank on this plane is 60 degrees. We never want to do that. A, a steep turn is a maneuver we practice where we turn at 45 degrees of bank. We forget about the standard rate. We just look at the bank. And it's a lot harder than what you just did because the plane don't want to dive because you've taken so much lift out. And it takes a little more practice. So we'll try one of those. So the first thing we have to do is make sure we're at maneuvering speed. Which we are, about 100 knots is fine. Um, we just did a turn, so whenever you do a maneuver, you do what's called a clearing turn. Where you'll turn 90 degrees left and right to see who's behind you. Oh, we just did a 360, so I think that's fine. I'm just going to roll into the turn until we get that arrow on that tick mark. Okay. Assuming we go one way or the other. Okay? And we're going to have to eat some power. And so one hand on the stick, one hand on the power. As we go into the turn, we're going to push our power up to about 21 inches. All right, and we're going to have to watch our rudders too. All right, so go ahead. Either way you want to go, left or right. All right, start easing your power in. And keep it going. All right, yeah, a little back pressure. See, she's starting to go down a little bit, so pull back. You still got to get steeper. You need another 15 degrees. Yeah, it's 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 steep for a reason, right? Yeah. All right, a little more back pressure. See how we're starting to dive? Okay, we're just going to pull her up right there. There you go, she's diving in, so we're going to put a little back pressure in. We're just going to get her back up to 4,000. All right, here comes our point, so we're going to start easing out, easing out, and push forward a little bit, so she's going to blow. All 
Alright, we lost 180 feet. That's not too bad for your first time. Oh, we're climbing. I know I sound like a broken record. This plane loves to climb. Yeah, I can tell, right? Right. The minute you don't pay attention, she goes, okay, let's climb. Rarely does she want to go down, even with the trim down. And let's start a slow descent down to 3,000 feet. Yeah, just about 500 feet a minute. And if our speed starts getting too fast, we'll just pull some power out. It's just like driving a car, right? Up a hill, you got to put more gas in. Down a hill, you let off the gas a little. I, I haven't even started that yet. <laughs> got, okay, riding a bike. Huh? Going down, you can coast. Going up, you got to pedal. How's that? That is true. I didn't even think about that. I'll let you fly until we get back towards the pattern, and I'll take over and uh, do the landing, unless you think you're ready. Uh, not quite? Probably not yet. But one more lesson? One more, yeah. <laughs> Just for fun, last night I went into Microsoft and uh, I was in the DA40 just to feel what it was like, right. I guess. And um, I, I, did, I did okay, but um, it's definitely a lot harder in person. And my aiming point is the top of the two. It's now, now I'm not so worried about the lights. They say I'm a little low, but I've got my aiming point. I'm just trying to keep my speed right around 70. Quite a greaser, but I'll take it. 